Hello, Maccabi fans. Welcome to Jake the Ripper, the place where I reap what you sow. Captain, hello. Hi, how are you? While the rest of us are struggling on our flights throughout Europe, yes. do you feel grateful that airplane seats were made for someone your size? Yes, I will say I do feel grateful. Uh, my friend likes to call it heightism. I agree with that. Uh, but yeah, generally... That sounds smart. Yeah, generally speaking, on planes, I don't really have much trouble. I don't like the middle seat, but again, you know, I don't, I don't experience it nearly the same type of problems as you. Uh, the U.S. Foreign Service Institute study states that you need 1,100 hours in order to study the Hebrew language. This is your fifth year in Israel. Echav I don't think I'm close to the 1,100 hours. I will say we've started to break probably, you know, our first two. Um, You're on your way. Yeah, I mean, slow but steady. I do think I'll get there eventually. Um, I'm being pressured currently to getting a tutor, so that might up the hours a lot this year. Before we came to Maccabi, Maccabi Tel Aviv didn't reach the Israeli League final for three straight years. You come, you're named captain, two straight championships. Is this because of you? Um, no. I, I well, that's simple cause and effect, John. Yeah, I think there's a couple more factors. Uh, you know, my first year in Maccabi, uh, I think 11 or 12 or 12 or 13 players were all new. Uh, some of those guys are still here. You, I think, being one of them. Uh, so it could be a little more about you. But uh, I'll take some credit for it. I appreciate that. John, you're of Italian heritage, raised Roman Catholic. <laughs> and last wow. year, you played for the Israeli national team. Yeah. Does that confuse you at all when you're saying your Hail Marys are performing the rosary? <laughs> to answer you straightforward, no, I'm not very confused. John, thank you very much. The captain.